We've talked about 3i Atlas before, but recent observations have revealed something new and scientifically significant. Astronomers have now detected strong water outgassing at a surprisingly large distance from the Sun, something not typical for most comets. This development offers a clearer look at how this interstellar visitor behaves and what it's made of, while also challenging some of our current models of cometary activity. In this video, we'll break down the latest discovery, examine the science behind it, and explore why it matters for our understanding of interstellar objects. Let's get started. The key update came from ultraviolet data collected by Neil Garrell's Swift Observatory. Researchers detected hydroxyl OH emissions, a clear indicator of water sublimation. What's striking is where this activity is happening. More than three astronomical units from the Sun, where most comets remain inactive. At that distance, sunlight is typically too weak to heat cometary ice enough for substantial outgassing. Yet 3i Atlas is shedding around 40 kilograms of water per second. That level of sustained activity suggests an unusual internal structure or composition compared with typical solar system comets. These observations were supported by ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, which captured the comet's faint but distinct coma, the glowing envelope of gas and dust around its nucleus. Even from millions of kilometers away, this confirmed that Atlas is already in an active state, long before most comets reach this level of activity. Ground-based telescopes added another layer of evidence. Gemini South Telescope and Very Large Telescope recorded clear images of its tail and coma, while spectroscopy revealed the presence of large icy grains. These grains slowly release water into space, helping sustain activity at low solar energy levels. Taken together, UV spectroscopy, orbital imaging, and ground observations. The picture is consistent. 3i Atlas is unusually active for its distance from the Sun. This is not just another observation of a passing interstellar object. It's the clearest look yet at how these visitors may behave differently from our own comets. The early activity of 3i Atlas forces astronomers to rethink how cometary sublimation can begin. Normally, significant water-driven outgassing starts inside roughly 2.5 astronomical units. So why is this happening earlier? One leading explanation involves volatile composition, especially carbon dioxide, CO2, CO2 sublimates at lower temperatures than water ice. A CO2-rich surface could trigger early activity with lifted icy grains producing the observed OH signature. Another factor may be its pristine surface. Unlike short-period comets that develop hardened crusts from repeated solar passes, interstellar comets are relatively untouched. Their porous structure might allow heat to penetrate deeper, activating sublimation earlier. A third possibility is fragment-driven activity. Small pieces may be detaching from the nucleus, exposing fresh ice, and feeding the coma. This would explain sustained water release without requiring uniform surface heating. Each of these mechanisms, volatile content, structure, and fragmentation, reflects a different formation history. The fact that Atlas activates so early gives researchers a unique data point on the diversity of cometary behavior beyond our solar system. This also fits into a larger story. Every interstellar object we've studied has been distinct. One II slash Oumuamua showed no detectable outgassing. Two I slash Borisov behaved more like a classical comet with abundant carbon monoxide. Three I Atlas is active at greater distances with strong water signals. This growing diversity indicates that different star systems produce icy bodies with varied compositions and structures. Each new visitor provides another data point, helping scientists map the range of possible environments and planetary systems beyond our own. Because 3i Atlas was spotted early, astronomers were able to coordinate multiple observatories quickly. That's a key advantage. For the first time, an interstellar comet's evolution is being tracked systematically over an extended period. And 
A major part of this monitoring will come from Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, J-U-I-C-E, which will observe the comet shortly after its perihelion. Its instruments are capable of detecting subtle gas signatures and dust output, potentially offering new insight into the comet's composition and activity patterns. Ground-based telescopes will keep watch as well. Changes in the coma and tail could reveal layering inside the nucleus, giving scientists a window into its internal structure. If the nucleus fractures, that could provide indirect information on its physical properties. If it stays intact, it may suggest a stronger or more cohesive structure than expected. These observations will also guide future missions. Comet Interceptor, set to launch in 2029, aims to intercept a pristine comet or an interstellar object like Atlas. The data gathered now will inform both the engineering and scientific strategies for such missions, including which instruments to prioritize. More broadly, interstellar visitors like Atlas help refine our understanding of planetary system formation. By analyzing their compositions, scientists can compare the chemistry of distant systems to our own. The fact that Atlas is releasing water, one of the essential ingredients for life as we know it, at such distances also has implications for understanding volatile transport in early planetary systems. This is why astronomers are giving this comet so much attention. It isn't just about tracking an icy body from another star. It's about using that body as a natural probe, a messenger from a different corner of the galaxy. The 3EI Atlas is behaving unlike any comet we've studied before, showing strong water activity far from the Sun. This challenges existing models and opens new paths for understanding interstellar objects. Upcoming observations will reveal even more about its true nature.